The CAW members at the Volvo plant in Halifax have won their fight with the company for a decent severance package. The key to getting the agreement was the willingness of the members to take it to the line. They barricaded themselves inside the plant until the company agreed to come back to the negotiating table. I don't think that we had gotten this out of the uh, management team at Volvo had we have not gotten into the occupation. I mean, it's, it's uh, one of those things that you, you use as your tool of last resort, but obviously in this case here, we knew that we were getting the runaround, and if we didn't do that, we were going to be SOL on uh, December the 17th, so it was either do something now and force them to bargain while we still had some power left to bargain with, or way too close to the end where we had no power, and then it would have been a sort of uh, what you see is what you get. On October the 21st, a group of CAW members blockaded the Volvo plant, demanding a fair severance package. After first refusing to negotiate, the company finally came to the table. The end result was a better deal for the 163 CAW members at the plant. At the beginning, there was only uh, 13 people uh, who qualified to, to go without a, a penalty on their pension. When we were done, that number moved from 13 to 45 people who could re now retire without a penalty in their pension. We improved their uh, uh, severance package also by another three additional months or about, on average, $8,000 per person. It went up. Production at the Volvo plant is continuing until December the 17th when the Swedish company abandons production in Canada. As for the future of the plant, a task force, including representatives from the CAW, is now looking for a company to buy the facility. They hope the combination of the bricks and mortar along with a highly trained and skilled workforce, will attract a new manufacturing company. CAW. Fighting back makes a difference.